right, it's been a while since I did one of these things, so let's get this ball rolling again. Cause I only have so long before this topic becomes dated. I am Hipster the Wolf, and welcome to another Snooty and the Beast. Today, I want to discuss Kirby Star Allies with you all. Before I get into the meat of the discussion, I just want to talk about how disappointed I was in the game. I thought the game was too short, honestly. When the game felt like it was just starting to get going, it... ended. Now, considering this game was made by HAL Labs, the length of this game makes a lot more sense in hindsight because of... reasons. But that's not the discussion for today. For you see, even though the game was short, there is still the fact that the game is still getting content updates. These updates come in the form of new characters to play as. When the game first launched, we had a lot of characters to pick from, but at the same time, we also had access to specialist characters known as Dream Friends. We started out with the classic standbys, Bandana Waddle D, King Diddy, and Meta Knight. However, later on, we got another set as DLC. Rick, Koo, and Kine showed up as a trio, all playable at the same time. We got Gooey as the second character, and finally fan favorite, Marks as the third, who is OP as all get out by the way. And now it was revealed that we are getting new characters on the 27th of July. Dar Roach, Dark Meta Knight, and Adeline I'm so freaking happy! Woo! Adeline's back, bitches! <clears throat> With all that being said, I want to try a little experiment. I am going to predict who the next three characters are going to be in the third wave of Dream Friends DLC, and I can give definitive evidence on how I base this theory. Let's start with the first bits. To begin with, the Dream Friends that we got at launch are staples of the Kirby series. We got characters that have been around since almost the very beginning. And Bandana Waddle Dee. It was honestly not very hard to get these three characters into the game from the start since their moves have already been programmed and returned to Dreamland. All Hal needed to do was account for them being able to transform their movesets based on the elements, and you were golden. The other Dream Friends were more difficult. To begin with, only two of the released characters in the first wave were ever playable, with the other one being a boss character. Not to mention Guru was only available as a secret co-op partner, and Rick, Koo, and Kain were separate characters entirely before. Now they're all in the same character! This was the first piece of evidence that HAL Labs was open to experimentation in how they wanted to treat their new playable characters. When the second wave was announced, we got Darach, another boss, who looks like his main method of attack is his cane, just like his boss fight. He looks like a pretty solid character overall, but then you got Dark Meta Knight, who not only was in one game, and a very polarizing game at that, but he was also rarely seen in that game, and when you did see him, he didn't really do much except pop up in front of Kirby to be swatted at a couple times. It's true that he had a boss fight, but it was extremely similar to any boss fight you would have with the original Meta Knight. He had every right to be just another character that has a variation of the Salt move set, but instead, they took him in a very different direction, and really fleshed out his character with moves similar to Mirror Kirby, as well as a little of his own flavor. And then there's Adeline. Oh my god, Adeline! She's so freaking cute! Call down, Maggie! I've waited 18 years for this! Fuck off! This is the announcement that really cemented my prediction as almost absolute at this point. And again, it showed Hal's experimental habits by pairing up Adeline with Ribbon, which I freaking called, by the way! I have no evidence that I called it, but I called it! No, I called it. He's just relaying the info. DON'T STEAL MY THUNDER! WHAT THUNDER?! YOU'RE STEALING MINE! Bitch, he stole my thunder too! Wait, what?! I predicted that Ribbon would be with Adeline. What?! No, I did! Wait, did you? Did I? Neither of you remembers who called it? IT WAS A MONTH AGO! I'm actually pretty sure I called it! Okay, this'll take a while. No, we'll be right I back, did. folks. By the looks of things, it looks like Ribbon is going to play the same role as she played during the Zero Two fight in Crystal Shards, allowing Adeline to fly. I can only assume that while she's like this, she'll have access to the Crystal Cannon that Kirby used in said Zero Two fight, which again, we see two characters playable as one character, just like Rick, Koo, and Kine. 
However, that's not what's cemented by prediction. No, not in the least. You see, if you pay close attention to the patterns of the Dream Friends released, you'll actually catch on to the fact that we know exactly what characters are going to be in the next wave of Dream Friends. Let's analyze that pattern, shall we? First up, Diddy, Bandanity, and Meta Knight. No brainer on this one. These characters are basically Kirby's best friends. Well, DD is more of a frenemy, but you know what? I like to consider that the two are pretty much buddies at this point. Rick, Koo, and Kain are characters from Kirby's Dreamland 2. Gooey is from Dreamland 3. Marx is from Kirby Superstar. These three characters are all from the vintage Kirby era. The classic days when Kirby was still getting his feet wet, and Hal was trying to discover what they wanted to do with the pup ball. Then we got Daroach, Dark Meta Knight, and Adeline and Ribbon. Daroach from Squeak Squad, Dark Meta Knight from Amazing Mirror, and Adeline from Crystal Shards. These are all what I like to call the transitional era of Kirby, where they start experimenting with a few different ideas, such as combining copy abilities to make new ones, or giving you different gameplay quirks, or even have a Metroidvania world to explore. So, for the third wave of friends, I predict that the next three characters are going to be ambassadors of the modern era of Kirby. We're going to get representatives for Kirby's Return to Dreamland, Triple Deluxe, and Planet Robobot. Who are they going to be, you may ask? Well, my money is going to be on Magalore for Return to Dreamland, Taranza for Triple Deluxe, and Susie for Planet Robobot. That being said, I have no idea how they're going to play. But with, as we've seen in Smash Ultimate, Sakurai is a madman, so he'll make it work. But what do you think? How solid do you find this prediction? Am I missing anything? Is there any other evidence to back this up that I missed? Or do you think this is too much of a shot in the dark to be considered a good prediction? Leave a comment down below and we'll discuss this more in depth. I'm Hips to the Wolf, and I'll check you guys later. Still called it! Oh my god, give it a rest, woman! Fuck no! If I buy you a bottle of Fireball, well, let's shut you up. Maybe.